Mike Dalton, welcome to ICE North America. So first of all, let's talk about your virtual esports betting product. I mean, is this essentially just a virtual sport version of a virtual game? How does that work? Yeah, it's a bit of a tongue twister. Um, Virtual is a pretty cool product. So we take curated matches that have played in the past and then we run it through an RNG system, through an algorithm and allow guys to bet on uh, post games. We brought it to being because there was a content drought. There was a patches of time in international esports where there weren't games being played and our customers were sitting on site kind of demanding content. Um, we've delivered a, a product for CSGO at the moment and gonna roll out probably five to six titles in the next kind of six weeks. Super exciting, um, and it keeps the gameplay up, uh, and we're pumped about it. And then, what about the 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 streamer betting product? I mean, is that is that basically in play for esports? I'd call it in play for Twitch. Would probably be the best way of putting it. Um, most of the viewership, we're talking like a nearly uh, a million hours of content getting streamed regularly. Um, tens of thousands of streamers um, and there are only kind of key marquee events when you look at esports so took a product made it super interesting allow you to back guys that are really getting viewership and concurrent viewers over kind of 10,000 20,000 30,000 at a time guys like ninja um, that are playing Fortnite. so now you can sit through a whole game um, and watch him from kind of is he gonna win the map is he gonna get over under kills um, and then we're hoping the twitch chat starts to go off guys get referred I mean, it's an exciting product. I don't think anyone in the space is really offering it, offering it in the way that we're doing it. Um, and if you look at it, like there's a chance now that you could bet on a live game, some sport, and on your favorite streamer. Like if I was to tell you, you could parlay that 10 years ago, people would tell, them, tell us we were crazy. Um, so no, super excited. The product launches next week. So really excited to see it hit the market. And then in terms of the market growth, I mean, there's, over the past year, it feels like there's quite a growing level of excitement about esports. I mean, from your side, as an esports betting operator, is the betting market growing as much as people uh, seem to want it to? Yeah, definitely. I think it's per region you've got to look at it. There's like uh, natural reasons like Asia and Europe that have probably been a little bit more uh, inclined and had the product for longer. If you look inside the US, it's probably going to take some time, need some regulation changes. But we've looked at the business in kind of three core pillars. You've got like the big competitive events, you've got skill and the individual's gaming behavior, and then we're doing things like streamer. So I think if you look at East, we've got to be really careful in the industry to not just see esports as the major tournaments, but you've got to look at it gaming in general. Remember there are a lot of people out there playing games um, and so Unicorn for us it's all about looking at how we address the gaming culture, how individuals play games, much like how individuals play sports. Horse racing doesn't exist without betting, slot machines don't exist without betting, whereas sports and gaming that's the behaviour, that's the essence of what you're watching. Um, they don't need wagering so we've got to, we've got to complement everything that we're delivering. So. So how are you achieving that? I mean, like, how are you kind of balancing time? <laughs> yeah. uh, how are we achieving it? Like, super smart team, yeah. really great customers. Like, when you've got a core set of customers, like some of our, our early kind of adopters, would you say, or advocates, spend a lot of time, we're constantly interviewing with them, looking at some stuff in the competitor space, replicating good work uh, and trying to make it better. Um, but really using like gamer at heart, in, like insights and methodology. Like we, we, we've got guys that play, and our CEO for instance is playing three to four games a day. That's like 30, 40 minutes. So to have a CEO that's not only leading the company, but also playing and, and living the product uh, is pretty cool. And then finally, what about consumer education? Like kind of educating the esports customer about betting. I mean. A, what are you doing in that space, and B, how much of it do you have to do? Yeah, totally. It's an interesting question you ask. Uh, I had a conversation with someone yesterday at the conference. I think that's something that uh, when you look at wagering in general, most people come through a particular sport. I, a lot of the esports customers, they're placing their first bet. So they're having their first attempt at a wagering experience. Um, so for us, it's making it seem really easy. That's why something like stream is quite easy. We focus on big titles. Um, as for how we're kind of helping them, got like a how-to center coming, a lot of kind of informational videos, working with really good talent and trying to keep it simple, right? Like, let's not overcomplicate it. Games are hard to understand in general. So you've got to really 
get to the crux of what the game's about, what makes it engaging and exciting, and then focus on that. Great dog. Thank you very much. No worries. Thank you.